Strategic Partnerships was written by Robert L. Wallace. Robert L. Wallace is an engineer, entrepreneur, author, educator, and consultant. One of the strategies that experts consistently find to be among the most powerful for putting an entrepreneurial company on the path toward economic well-being is the use of joint ventures and strategic partnerships. When done well, these alliances provide both participating businesses with a chance to learn and benefit from each other and to achieve results neither could achieve alone. Hello, my name is Robert L. Wallace and I am an author, consultant, and educator who has studied the habits and practices of entrepreneurs. In strategic partnerships, I demonstrate how entrepreneurial organizations can best leverage their respective strengths, minimize their weaknesses, and pool their resources to attain goals, both large and small. Throughout this summary, I will point out changing competitive environments, shifts in technology, demographics, and the customer economy, and map out a path for organizations to follow when they want to accomplish great things and realize that they cannot do it by themselves. The challenges of growth and success that entrepreneurs face today are unparalleled in history. The markets businesses serve and the competitors they face are global thanks to technology that literally opens the world to any organization. Combine that fact with the influx of entrepreneurs who have been right-sized out of jobs in larger corporations, and one can easily see how crowded the field, any field, can be. The strategies available for growing one's business come down to three options. Grow organically, grow through acquisitions, or aggressively create and leverage joint ventures and business partnerships. Given the risk, constraints, resource allocation, velocity of change, and global reality that define the customer economy, organizations must master the third option, to create and leverage joint ventures and business partnerships if they want to survive. Joint ventures must have four key elements. One, multiple independent companies. Most often, two businesses are involved, although ventures between three or more companies are becoming more common. It is imperative to recognize and address the differences in company cultures, business goals, management structures, and other key aspects of each organization. Two, clearly defined business purpose, a joint mission for the venture. One that benefits both organizations must be established up front. A mission that cannot be achieved by either party without the aid of the other. The interdependence that exists when neither side can achieve the mission alone is what holds the venture together and motivates each entity to succeed. Four, an agreement on the supporting elements of the business purpose. Partners must agree on targets, products, services, and specific duties involved in support of the mission. Joint ventures may require those four elements, but they can take a variety of forms varying in terms of cohesiveness of the relationship. Companies considering joint ventures, the three points on the continuum are 1. Loosely coupled joint ventures. Two companies in similar industries pool resources to go after larger contracts or enter new markets together. 2. Moderately coupled joint ventures. Two independent companies move beyond an informal relationship to a more formal one. 3. Tightly coupled joint ventures. These ventures usually involve a formal integration of resources, infrastructure, processes and services. Commitment between the partners is high, as in the amount of legal paperwork joining the organization.